James Kaufman, World News Report, today, December 10th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, today we've had three strong M flares, M class solar flares, and we're going to go over those. The first one we had was generated by Sunspot Group AR. 3922, it was an M6.4, the strongest flare of the day. It peaked at 648 UTC time, which was about 1248 Central Time last night. Following that, we had an M1.4 solar flare out of that same sunspot group, AR3922, which I'm about to point out to you. It's a newly named sunspot group that's just come around the limb. Again, an M1.4 that peaked at 7.09 UTC time, or about 1.09 last night. Now, we've just recently had a third M flare, an M1.5 solar flare. It peaked at 11.02, or about 5.02 this morning. So, that also came from 3922. So 3922 is a newly named sunspot that's really lighting things up. This is the first activity we've seen since the 8th when we had the X 2.2 flare followed by the M flare. The first and strongest solar flare of the day, the M 6.4 class solar flare popped off here as you can see from 32.99 as it was coming around the limb and caused an R2 radio blackout. An M6.5 flare was observed at 6.48 UTC time from newly numbered region 39.22 near the east limb. Alright, so taking a look at all the flares today, they have several that aren't assigned to sunspot groups. This could mean they were filament eruptions. Uh, we have limited equipment, as y'all know, that AIA is down, SDO is down, HMI is down. So we're dealing with just a few satellites that are working. LASCO, we're dealing with uh, SOHO, which is the ESA satellite. And we're dealing with my personal favorite, which is GOES. So first we see our, well, we see a lot of small C flares. I don't know really why they're calling them out. Here's a C9.7. We've been running a C plus baseline for at least five or six months. There was a day we dropped below that to a B baseline. But that was probably the only day in the last year plus that we've not run a C baseline. So plenty of radiation hitting Earth all day long. Our first M flare here, as we discussed, came from 3922, newly named Sunspot Group. It's still a simple Sunspot Group. We can tell because it's in green here. It's either just an Alpha Sunspot or a Beta Sunspot. We won't worry about it this time. That peaked at 648 UTC time which was 12.48 Central Time here in the U.S. That was followed almost simultaneously by an M1.4 that peaked at 7.09. That too, as all of the M flares today, came from AR3922. We might take a look at that sunspot group. And we had a bit of a lull and then at 1102 as far as a peak we had another m1.5 solar flare also from sunspot group ar3922 you can see that the m6.46 up here is the biggest flare we've had today and remember on the 8th we had the x2.29 flare so those are the two biggest flares that we've seen in 72 hours we do have a 10 percent chance of having an X-class solar flare, probably more so due to sunspot group AR3912, which is alpha beta, versus the simple sunspot group 3922. 
we have a 60% chance of having an M-class solar flare. And, well, we're running a C baseline. They say 99% chance of having a C flare. Currently, we're at a C 2.05 baseline. So, one of the instruments that is working is our gong. The backside is not working with gong right now. I don't know why. You can't really see the sunspot groups as well as you could on HMI Intensigram. But this is 3922 that came around the limb. It's moved a little bit further, uh, well, further towards the central part of the solar disk. And we can see 3912 actually exiting the far limb. 3917 altogether. It looks like we're going to have eight sunspot groups that are Earth facing. Moving over to our GO Solar Ultraviolet Imager. You can see that we do have a large coronal hole that's earth facing we should see a pickup in solar winds hitting earth we haven't seen that thus far and we can see that our new sunspot just had some more activity here you can see it light up right there now we haven't seen that reported we'll take a look back on our goes real quick to see if anything is just reported that did just in fact happen Again, out of our brand new sunspot group, AR3922. Let's take a look at GOES and see if anything showed up yet. Now, I'm glad we did because, in fact, these are the first two M flares we see right here and here. Weren't very easy to see at first. This was the last one, uh, last one we talked about that peaked at 5.02 Central Time. And this one just occurred. Now, it hasn't hit Space Weather Live yet, but it looks like it occurred. Well, we'll be able to tell, but it looks like it was about an M. And I went ahead and changed this up a bit, about an M1.63 solar flare. And that looks like it occurred right at 1800 UTC time, but we'll be able to tell exactly when it occurred with our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center. Did any of those M-flares propel a CME? Looks like there is plasma leaving from our sun, but I'm just not feeling like it came from our new sunspot AR3922. Looks like most of this plasma is probably from the backside, which we're pretty much blind to as of now. Uh, I don't see that gongs working on the backside, and our other instruments are not really putting a composite together for the backside. We're hoping to get those working in January. Hoping. All right, over to our D region absorption prediction center. You can see that, well, third M flare. It uh, peaked at 1102 here. And that was right over the southern part of Africa. We did cover that one. And then we had the 1.6 at 1800. Constant sea flare. And everyone's getting their ample dose of radiation here on planet Earth. And look at that right there at 1800. We see the peak of the 1.63 M flare. So we've had four M flares thus far today. The day is not quite over yet. It is hard to believe that that's an M1.63 solar flare, but that's exactly what that is at exactly 1800 UTC time. Just in summary, we've had four M class solar flares, the largest one at 6.4, all generated from the same sunspot group, AR3922. We have a coronal hole directly facing Earth. We should see an uptick in solar winds. Looks like we've had a coronal hole facing Earth for some time. Uh, we will take a look real quickly at our KP indexes to see if those winds might have affected Earth in any way yet. And in fact, it looks like we did have some disturbances yesterday. And our college index picked up an actual geomagnetic storm here. So we are going to bounce over it and take a look at Discover real quickly 
see if that was caused by an uptick in solar winds or if we got hit by coronal mass ejection. Now this is going to be a really, really hard call. I can see at the beginning of the day we had a little solar winds off that earth-directed coronal hole. We just had a couple of ticks up above 500 kilometers per second, which would really be our space where the threshold the rest of the day, we really don't see anything above 500 kilometers per second. So 504, that is right about when we have plasma going up from 1 centimeter cubed right up to 9.14, not breaking the 10, i.e. the actual space weather threshold. So this little component here, you can see that our shield's raised here. That's going to be the time period. I wouldn't exactly call this a geomagnetic storm. Only our college index picked that up. But that is the incident that it picked up. The rest of the day, our shields have been down. And there's really no significant space weather whatsoever. With that said, God bless each and every one of you guys. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.